Okay, you've talked about how we come to this life over and again so that we can know our sovereign ways. Isn't this a trap? Will we really be coming here until we completely healed and fully know ourselves? Okay, that's a good question. Okay, it's not that it's a trap. It's us. We're the ones that come back doing the same thing over and over because we haven't we haven't fully realized ourselves in any frequency that we are learning about. What I mean by that is this. Okay, let's just use relationship. Okay, think about your relationship. What kinds of relationships have you been having? Okay, so you come in, you've got carryover from abandonment, rejection, betrayal, whatever. Here's, here's how we keep doing the lifetime the same over and over, okay? Past life, oh, let's just use this lifetime. I know every single one of you have had an experience of heartache, heartbreak, okay? I know all of you probably have had experiences of excruciating pain, physical pain. So when you're in those experiences, let's just use relationship because most people can relate to that. So in relation, if you, you know, like you're, you get shattered, your heart feels broken. And what happens is, is you start making these conclusions, these beliefs, okay? Like, oh, here's a go. I, okay, I'll just share mine. I was, how old was I? I was like 15 or something. My first love, true love, whatever thought it was. And I, and I made this, I just, it, it hurt so bad that I literally said, and I remember, I will never love again. I'm sure y'all did that, okay? I will never love again. And so what did I do? I even got married, not just once, but a few times, and didn't open my heart because of that, that thing I did, that promise I made to myself, I'm never going to open my heart. So if I hadn't opened my heart in this lifetime, that right there, where I didn't really fully embody and go through the emotional pain that I was experiencing, that is going to get carried over into the next lifetime. And we're going to have the opportunity to, to finally feel that deep pain again. But what do we do? We do the same thing. We don't want to feel that pain. We don't want to feel that hurt. We don't want to open ourselves and completely surrender to all of the emotion that is a part of or is connected to or is what we are experiencing, which is how we know thyself, know ourselves in any situation, in any event, in any circumstances, okay? It's about knowing thyself. This is what, when we get tripped up. And so we are the ones who make these decisions. We draw conclusions. We have misperceptions. And then we co-create again the same kinds of experiences because we're trying to unravel and we're trying to know what's still now deep in our subconscious, what gets carried over in our soul imprint. And we're trying to unravel it and know it so we can be done with it. This is why we have so many lifetimes. It's not a trap at all, Anna. It's not a trap, okay? We're the ones doing it. We're the ones who are willing to surrender, to know ourselves in any situation, in any experience that we've ever had, okay? It, the soul's journey, okay, let me back up. The soul's journey is to go back into the oneness. And it's not, you know, it's not what people think. There's not, not a heaven, not a hell. It's not any of that. The oneness is just, an, it's all the totality of everything. When we are in that, there is no sense of self, okay? So that's where we came from. That's where we're going back. But as a soul evolving, we are having experiences and we're, we want to know ourselves in every way, always. That means we do horrible things. We do heinous crimes. We do great, wonderful things. You know, we are, we're doing all of it. But the problem is and how we get stuck and we keep doing over and over and over the same old, same old, is we aren't allowing ourselves to fully know and embrace our experiences all the way. Okay? All right. You want to know more? Join me and know thyself.